Today, we got the chance for a rare one-on-one -on -one interview with Portland Police Bureau Chief Chuck Lavelle. He's the 50th police chief in PPB history and was appointed to the role during the civil unrest in the summer of 2020. A lot has happened since. In 2021, Portland saw a record-breaking 90 homicides. This year, we're on track to match that number or outpace it. And that's not even counting the dozens of shootings where someone was hurt but not killed or the hundreds of shootings where luckily no one was hit. We don't often get to sit down and talk to Chief Lavelle, so we'd like to show you his answers to a series of questions we often hear from you. We asked for his take on battling Portland's growing gun violence and what's going through his mind when he's trying to tackle such a pressing issue. Personally, um, you know, you're watching people in your city die and, um, you know, you're trying to, to f solve that problem with the resources you have. Uh, we've rolled out the focus intervention team. We work closely with uh, other partners with DCJ and OVP, Office of Violence Prevention. But it's hard when you look at people, families. Uh, we talk about it in terms of numbers, but at the end of the day, these are people in our community, their families, friends, and, and relatives who are hurting uh, as a result of this violence. And it's hard for me, particularly as a black person, to see that the number of black people being killed in the city too. Um, it, it is hard, and we work hard every day to try to, to um, to lessen that number. Um, our detectives and our investigators are out middle of the night with family members, um, sharing grief with them and just trying to, to get information to solve these homicides so the next family doesn't have to deal with it. And when it comes to families who are dealing with the murder of a loved one, some doubt they'll ever get justice. Here's Lavelle's response when we asked for his message to those families. Well, I want them to know that we are working hard to solve all of those cases. No matter how many homicides we have, um, each one is important to us. Uh, we work very closely with the district attorney's office and the deputy DAs to solve these cases. Um, they're important. We're working hard on them. I talked about this a little bit when we transferred our cold case detectives to homicide. Uh, and I really wanted to send the message that that doesn't mean those cases are unimportant. We just need those resources to solve other homicides. And I want people to know that it, it's important for them to be a part of the, the process too. We work very closely with families and our goal is to not have another family have to deal with that same hurt and heartache and uh, devastation. So I think, you know, the community has an important role and we always urge them to participate as well. But I definitely want people to know that we as a police bureau care and we're working hard to solve them. Lavelle says if PPB were fully staffed, they would have 882 sworn staff members. Instead, right now, they're just below 800, meaning they're missing around 10% of the sworn workforce, which leads to a chronic problem we hear from you all too often. PPB response times taking what seems like forever or officers not showing up at all. We asked the chief what he would say to people who simply can't get officers to respond when they call 911. Tell them keep calling. It's important. I think there becomes a time too where people feel like, well, if I call, no one's gonna come, or if I you know, report this, I'm still not gonna get my property back. It's important to still call. We're gonna try to get to every call we can. Um, there's a lot of times we end up on what we call priority ones and twos, where we have to answer those life safety emergencies, and those take time too, so the other calls will hold and they'll stack up, um, but we'll try to get to them, but I think it's important for us as a police bureau to let people know we want to answer those calls, we'll do our best to answer them. And we understand that even if it's not a homicide or a shooting, um, having your stuff stolen, having your, your home you know, violated by an intruder is traumatic. And we wanna do our best to address those with the resources we have. And it's not all bad news. Just under two weeks ago, PPB hired 20 new officers, the first measurable staffing increase in years. Momentum that Chief Lavelle hopes can continue. That was one of, I would say, one of the brightest spots of my two and a half, almost two and a half year tenure as chief was to bring on 20 people on uh, September 22nd. And I think for me, it's really a shot of hope. And I think for other officers and our professional staff working here, it shows that people want to come work for the Portland Police Bureau. We do get a lot of applicants and there's people who are out there who want to be part of the solution and they're coming here to work and we're really excited to have them. And I think, uh, you know, I'm hopeful we can keep our recruiting goals going. We'd like to hit uh, double digits every month. And if we can do that, I think over time, we'll work our way out of this staffing crunch. 
And finally, we could not do an interview like this without asking about the rampant vandalism in Portland. How can businesses thrive when they're constantly having to replace windows or cover graffiti? You know, I feel for them. They've had a rough time with the pandemic the last uh, two plus years. And then to have you know, additional harm imposed upon them by just senseless vandalism and violence, it's really tough for businesses. I mean, we're really doing our best to try to investigate those, and we've made some arrests in those uh, cases. So we're happy about that, but uh, we definitely would like to see that activity stop. We're going to do our best to hold, um, to hold people accountable who are committing those crimes. But I think you know, having businesses be able to be in the downtown core area or anywhere in the city and uh, feel safe, uh, be vibrant, be able to make a living is important to all of us as a city. So I think to the extent that we can root out that behavior, we'd all be better off. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Chief Lavelle's answers tonight. Send an email to thestory at kgw.com or call and leave us a voicemail, 503-226-5090. All right, keep sending your questions and comments to the story and we'll finish up right after this.